So I got these Superior Auto Creative carbon fiber wing stands. They're a lot taller than the OEM version. On mine, I do have the OEMs and an extension, and these are still a little bit bigger than those. So we're gonna go ahead and try these on. I wanted to put these on to see what they look like, to see what I wanna do if I wanna keep the carbon ones or I wanna keep the OEM with the extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those, install these. It came with this hardware. There's two 10 millimeter bolts here, and then there's two longer 10 millimeter bolts. They come with a washer, so I'm guessing these go to the center one and these go to the outside ones so i'm going to show you guys once this is on and what it looks like also ended up buying these flathead m6 bolts with the flat head and that concave look that you have there the reason being is the bolts these three bolts up here that go here go all the way down there and they're too long they're way too long to fit in there i'll bolt the two 10 mils from each one pull these off and throw on the new ones. All right, so now that we got the wing stands off, we're gonna go ahead and remove these three bolts, remove these plates and put those plates onto the new stands. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and install the new stands onto the trunk. So let's go ahead and do that. Superior Auto Creative carbon fiber wing stands are now installed and i gotta say they do look better than expected especially this angle right here this is the angle that sold me this angle that pushes that wing a little bit further back and these stands just look i don't know i feel in my personal opinion i know a lot of people don't like it but i like how it pushes the wing a little bit further back the only thing i do have to say is that i do not like that there's too much carbon it just makes the wing stands look off and not really matching the base side blue paint, so I might just get them color matched to the base side blue, and I'll probably do something on this, on these wing stands to match the base side blue, leave a little bit of carbon exposed. So what I'll probably end up doing is throwing on a sticker onto the wing stands and removing that sticker. So I'll throw the sticker on this portion right here, remove it and expose some carbon. So now that the Superior Auto Creative wing stands are on, I'm gonna go ahead and install a GTR pedal set onto this car. So in order to complete the conversion of the GTT pedal set to the GTR pedal set, these are the following parts you need, except maybe this one, I believe this one might be the same as the GTT. You just pop off the cover and put on the new one but I'll confirm that later in the video. So for now, I'm just gonna give you this part number anyway. So this part number for this one is this right here. You guys could just pause it at any minute and then screenshot it, look it up. We need this pedal cover here, which will go on to the footrest. And there is a part number there. We also need the accelerator pedal and the accelerator pedal bushing and the clip for the accelerator pedal. You guys will see in a little bit how to install that. We need two cover pedal pads for the brake and clutch pedals. That's pretty much all you need to throw these onto the GTT. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and install these pedal sets. These pedal sets will make that footrest area just look much different. Just look at this angle right now. It looks dark in there, it looks kind of ugly. Once these are on, it'll look a million times better. So here we have the OEM GTT gas pedal brake pedal and it looks like they added the gtr cover to the clutch pedal we'll be replacing that one with a new one so first step we need to do is remove these three here um, this one has a clip in the back here that you pop off and you just bring it forward and slide it out um, this one is wrapped around with rubber just pretty much wrapped around the pedal. You, I'll show you guys once I remove them. This one is the same thing, just wrapped around the pedal. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the footrest. So in order to remove the footrest, there's a 10 mil bolt here and you gotta remove this cover and there's gonna be another 10 mil bolt in there. So you just take the screwdriver, pop off this cover here. As you can see there's an indent here. Put something in there to pry it out. We're gonna go ahead and remove the two 10 mil bolts there and get to it. So as you can see, this pedal has a clip up here and this one, you just unclip it. That hole right there slides into the bar and then you just pretty much get this bar around this edge right here. And then you just, once it's on, you just go ahead and clip this on to remove it. You gotta clip this off, pull it out and slide. And then slide the pedal outward. As far as these, they have this rubber around them. They just gotta pull back 
around this edge pull back around this edge and just pull them off same with this one and that's pretty much it this one as i said remove this cover remove the two bolts and it should be good and i believe this is actually the same as the gtr one and from the looks of it it looks like they're identical they are the same part number so you do not need to replace that unless it's worn out mine is pretty worn out so i'm just going to go ahead and replace it either way so i'm going to go ahead and put this piece on first put that on after i throw that on i'm going to go ahead and start putting these pedals on once i get to this one these should just be easy just wrap them around i'll let you guys know how this install on this goes All right, so these pedals are now on. These were a pain to get on, but what helped me a little bit, I got these and I put them in hot water. I let them sit for a little bit and it loosened up the plastic just enough for me to get these around a little bit better. So as far as this pedal here, so this piece of metal was welded onto here like that. So the first thing I did was cut it sideways like that, took this piece off and had this piece of metal like here, but this pedal still did not fit, still needed more trimming. So what I just decided to do instead was cut off the welds, just remove this whole piece. Another thing, so there is this plastic piece that goes in here. One of them comes with a kit and I ordered a separate one, but I don't remember which one is which. So there's one that was, the hole was way too big and it was loose around here, around this part right here. And I had another smaller one, which was way too tight. So I ended up taking the drill drilling this out a little bit bigger just enough for it to fit in this bar here and now we are good to go so now i just got to put in the snap clip behind there and we should be good to go so i ended up putting a little piece of that neoprome foam right here single-sided tape and also on the clip since there was a little bit of play here now we're going to put this on if there's still play we're going to add another layer here and that should prevent any play from these two. So the R34 GTR pedals are now on and man, I gotta say these things make a huge difference. They were a little bit tough to get on, but at the end of the day, I gotta say it was worth it. And that metal piece that I took off of there I might end up trimming it a little bit more and re-welding it on. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it seems pretty stable here. The only thing that I can think of is that I believe this is aluminum, so it can bend here over time. But I don't know. We'll see down the line. I mean, I don't think it'll bend, but you never know. Yeah. 